in traffic like you see over here, sometimes you need to use alternative methods. And the alternative methods that this ride uses are like nothing we've ever seen before. You'll see this hybrid reach top speed in Biscayne Bay in just a minute. But first, let's have Gil give you the full download of his favorite toy. This is a water car panther. This is a Jeep looking vehicle that actually goes in the water and converts into a boat. What makes the car super cool is that the wheels actually go up into the hull over here. This is the propeller right here. It steers with the steering wheel. I was very lucky to be able to get the aqua car license plate. Nobody else in Miami has one. Like any other boat, the engine is here in the back. It has very important bilge holes here. So when you get a little water inside, the water starts popping out of these areas. I have to pay insurance as a car and a boat. Even though the car is only worth $180,000, I'm paying about 10% a year in insurance, $18,000. I have a Bugatti Veyron, which is worth over $2 million, and I pay only $16,000 a year in insurance for that. Gil uses the car anytime he needs to avoid traffic during rush hour. The Panther can hit a top speed of 45 miles an hour in the water. I definitely think that next time James Bond needs to escape from a villain, this is the machine. But during our shoot, the Bond-worthy boat could not escape the cops. Apparently, someone dialed 911 to report a vehicle had driven into the bay, and the Miami PD was here to investigate somebody called that there was a car boat in the water. And here we are with our good friends of the police and <laughs> flew this over because they thought that somebody was driving a car in the <laughs> And when the cops finally determined that Gil's amphibious ride was seaworthy, he made like 007 and disappeared fast. See ya!